With so many choices in the budget action camera category, it's easy to get lost as to which budget action camera to buy. Fortunately, one brand that stands out is the Yi brand from China. Today, I've got my hands on the Yi Lite action camera. Retailing at just under $100, it is perhaps the best camera out there. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing here? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Best budget action camera on my foot. I've got my hands on the Yi 4K action camera. Retailing at under $160, it has got better specs than the Yi Lite in almost all categories. This is the undisputed king when it comes to budget action cameras. Well, that is what you do understand, my friend, because it's not just about the specs alone. It is also about the price to performance ratio. And that is where the Yi Lite really shines. Retailing at just around $70 to $100, this is perhaps the best camera out there. Dude, don't be rude. The Yi 4K is the best action camera, period. Okay, I get it. Well, I guess there's just one way to find out. Let's have a classic shootout between these two cameras and let's find out which camera comes out on top. Well, I guess there's just one way to find out. Game on. Let's just quickly get the specifications out of the way. They're both pretty similar in terms of overall spec, but the Yi 4K has slightly better specs overall. Surprisingly, the Yi 4K has only 12 megapixel sensor as opposed to Yi Lite that does 16 megapixel. But overall, the Yi 4K feels faster and more responsive of the two. So in category one, we're gonna do a 4K shootout. So the Yi Lite only supports 4K at 20 FPS, so expect the video to be a little bit choppy. Now in round two, let's take some 1080p video. Now both these cameras support 1080p at 30 frames per second, but the Yi 4K just has a slightly warmer tones when compared to the Yi Lite. In round three, let's take some 1080p video and slow it down. The Yi 4K does 1080p at 120 frames per second, as opposed to Yi Lite that does 1080p at 60 frames per second, giving Yi 4K the edge when it comes to slow motion. Now what good is an action camera without some action? Both these cameras support electronic image stabilization. Let's put them to test and let's see which camera comes out on top. Now moving on to the next round, let's take some still photos and see which camera does a better job. Do note that the Yi Lite has a 16 megapixel Sony sensor as opposed to a 12 megapixel sensor from the Yi 4K. Finally, the verdict. Well, if you're not gonna do anything in post and just shoot some action video, then the Yi Lite is the better buy. But if you're someone who's gonna zoom into your pictures or do things like slow motion or do anything in post, then the extra capabilities that the Yi 4K brings to the table deserve the premium that it's asking for. End of the day, I guess it's horses for courses and it all boils down to what it is that you're looking for. So with that, we come to the end of this review. If you like this video, smash that like button, consider subscribing to the channel. And I'd like to thank you all for watching.